all together. OMG, oh my god, part two of our reaction, not of the movie. I know there's a sequel. We're watching this one, and maybe we'll watch the sequel. Who knows? Let's go. Oh no. Wow. You'll find somewhere else? I honestly, I'd probably do that too, though. Yeah. He should have sent them away, honestly. Their safety is of paramount importance. Yeah, now you're all alone. Oh. Uh. Who are you? He's just moving in. I think he's an angel spirit or like he's going to teach him the ways. Yeah. Convert him and make things better. Or at least show him the positives of religion and of faith. Krishna, suit boot me aaya ke nahi ya? Yeah, looks good. Bahut ho gaya. Oh. He didn't even budge a muscle. Yeah. Oh, he's showing you? He's telling himself to be God. My name is Krishna. Today I'm going to be your new Padosi. Kanji Bhai had kept me in the house. He sent me to him. This is his name. Oh. How can he send me to my house? When you have an act of God from God, then give me all the money from God. I'll go to the house. And after that, after my project is done, I'll go to the house. I don't know how to buy a house after buying a house. You can stay here. Tell me, I'll only give you the money from your house. Good deal? Accepted. Good deal? 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 I told you. Yeah. Light गई नहीं है. आप ही ने बंद की है. नहीं मैंने बंद नहीं की है. आपने पी रखी. तो? अच्छा. Ha ha. I thought he was gonna switch it on again. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, there goes those newspapers. I love that he had the the thing on his head too. Yeah. एक सौ पचपन खताएं हैं. और कुछ फोन कॉल इन सब के क्लेम और इन सब के क्लेम एक्ट ऑफ गॉड की वजह से अटके हुए हैं पिछले कई सालों से wow. और वो सब और ये सब चाहते हैं कि इनका केस भी तुम ही लड़ो आई हैव लॉस्ट माय हाउस इन द अर्थक्वेक उसमें मेरा बेटा और उसका वाइफ का डेथ हो गया इट्स हार्ड ब्रेकिंग ये मेरा ग्रैंड yeah. उसका कैंसर का ऑपरेशन के लिए wow. इंश्योरेंस का पैसा मिलेगा Gosh. Yeah, you're not alone. In sabke paper tayar karne mein kitna time lagega? Jitna wag type karne mein lagega. Phir ho jaye. Wow. You're a full blown like you have hit rock bottom, sir. Main ek karo. Aur ab 400 crore ke claims. Wow. Insurance company aur dharmik sansthaon ke beech phas chuke hain. Advocates sir desai. For God's sake, prove that God exists and 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 make court pay everything. Aastha ke naam par jo gorak ganda aap logon ne chala rakha hai, band kar do usse. Anne tha wo din dur nahi. Jab Ram ke naam par koi bhik bhi nahi dega. Right, you got to do it for the right reasons. Ishwar ne hume kya nahi diya? Kya unhone kabhi humse service tax manga hai? Aur aaj usi Ishwar ko ek san ki pagal manushya ne kat ghade mein khada kar diya to kya hum chup rahenge? श्री सिद्धेश्वर महाराज जी आमरण अनशन करेंगे भूख हड़ताल करेंगे सिद्धेश्वर महाराज की वाओ एंड ही इज ऑलवेज ईटिंग मेरा सबसे पहला सवाल आपसे ये है कि आप सभी धर्मों के पीछे क्यों पड़े हैं मैं सब धर्मों का आदर करता हूं और किसी भी धर्म में मानता हूं। I don't think you respect religion though, sir. I don't either. लेकिन ये तो गलत है। भगवान तो होता ही है। दो साल से मुझे अच्छी नौकरी नहीं मिल रही थी। मैंने मन्नत मांगी कि मुझे अच्छी नौकरी मिल जाएगी, तो मैं अपने बाल अर्पण करके आऊँगा। और देखो, मुझे नौकरी मिल गई। आपको पता है इन बालों का क्या होता है? धंधा होता है। This yeah, it's true. लेकिन उन पैसों से 
स्कूल अनाथ आश्रम अस्पताल चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट चलते हैं उससे भी आपको दिक्कत है क्योंकि ये सारा पैसा ब्लैक का आता है इसका अगर आपने व्हाइट में कुछ ट्रांजेक्शन नहीं दिखा तो इनकम टैक्स वाले आपका गला दबा के जेल में डाल देवे धर्म या मजहब एक इंसान की जिंदगी में क्या काम करता है मेरे हिसाब से तो एक ही काम करता है या तो वो इंसान को बेबस बनाता है या फिर आतंकवाद वाह Makes sense on this title now. Yeah. और इन सारे मंदिरों में भगवान की सेवा के लिए 142 पुजारी हैं। अंदर की 320 मूर्तियाँ, 142 पुजारी mm. पुजारी याद है आपको? लेकिन आप ही के मंदिर के बाहर बरसों से कितने भिखारी बैठते हो याद है आपको? Because too deep in it. Yeah. के मंदिर के बाहर जो भिखारी बैठते हो उसमें किसी को भी मंदिर के अंदर एंट्री नहीं बाहर सड़ते रहने का अंदर पैर नहीं रखने का वाओ दैट्स क्रूअल ये आप ही के मंदिर के पुजारी ने मुझे बताया उसने तो मुझे ये भी बताया था महाराज ये केस अगर आपको जीतना है ना भैया तो कहते हैं शिव जी के मंदिर में आइए और एक लोटा दूध चढ़ाइए तो मिलोर में पहुंच गया मंडे दूध का लोटा ले मेरा नंबर है मैं अंदर गया अंदर कोई नहीं था दूध पीने वाला बीच में वो काला पत्थर पड़ा हुआ था उसे शिवलिंग कहते हैं मूर्ख शिवलिंग पड़ा हुआ था वो पत्थर दूध दूध था oh, yeah. बगल में से छोटी सी पतली सी नाली में से वो सारा दूध बाहर की ओर जा वो सारा दूध मिलो उस नाली से निकलकर बाहर wow. और वो गटर को लग के एक भिखारी उस भिखारी को मैंने मेरा दूध का लोटा दिया पत्थर पे दूध डालने के बजाय किसी गरीब के पेट में डालें तो सबसे ज्यादा पुण्य मिलेगा इज नॉट रॉन्ग फ्रॉम डे वन ये आदमी बातों को यू यू गोल गोल घुमा रहा है मिस्टर कांजी ये कोई डिबेट नहीं है अच्छे बुरे की ये कोर्ट है और यहाँ प्रूफ चलता है और हमारे पास प्रूफ है इंश्योरेंस पेपर पर आपके सिग्नेचर well... तो ये प्रूफ करो की ये भूकंप भगवान ने किया है किया ही है ना इन राइट फॉर यू एक महीने का आखिरी मौका देती है अगली डेट पर अगर आप सबूत नहीं पेश कर सकते तो आई एम अफ्रेड यू विल हैव टू रेस्ट योर केस एंड ऑल अदर्स ओह माय गॉडनेस वाओ नाउ इट्स नॉट जस्ट हिम दो एवरीबॉडी इज इन्वेस्टेड नाउ कांजी मैं पता तुम्हें इस दुनिया की सारी उलझनें सारी परेशानियां सारी टेंशन का हल कहां लिखा हुआ कहां इस किताब के अंदर व्हिच बुक द बाइबल द भगवद गीता ये गीता कुरान बाइबल में मनुष्य के हर सवाल का जवाब लिखा हुआ है स्मार्ट ही इज अबाउट टू ब्रिंग प्रूफ फ्रॉम द बाइबल आज भगवान पे किए गए मुकदमे की आखिरी पेशी क्लेम की रकम है 400 करोड़ क्या कांजी भाई ये केस जीत पाएंगे यू मे प्लीज प्रोसीड ऑल राइट व्हाट हैव यू गॉट आपके प्रवचन में जो शास्त्रों की बातें करते हैं तो शास्त्रों में जो भी लिखा होता है वो सही होता है शत प्रतिशत ऐसा कहां लिखा है ये तो आप कह रहे हैं गीता में लिखा है क्या लिखा है गीता में He's read the Gita. गीता के चौथे अध्याय का चालीसवा श्लोक मतलब क्या? इसका अर्थ है जो अज्ञानी शास्त्र पर संदेह या शक करता है उसका विनाश uh-huh. निश्चित है समझा सर ये गीता में या शास्त्रों में कुछ भी समझ में आता है, है? कि जो भी लीला तर महाराज बोल रहे उसमें बस ऐसे समझा समझा करके हाथ हिला रहे हैं। तूने एक सिद्ध साधु का अपमान किया है तो तुझे नरक में भी जगह नहीं मिलेगी काम डाउन टू एग्रो टू बी दैट रिलीजियस या तेरा ये दुस्सास your thoughts dukheshvanu dvigna manah oh oh you weren't expecting that were you no vitarag bhay krodha sthit dhir muni ruchyate adhyay dusra shlok 56 your charge is like religious bro you don't even know it jis manushya ke liye sukh aur dukh saman avastha hai jo bhay aur krodh se mukta hai wahi siddha purush ka ilaaj bravo Wow. Yeah, you were not calm. भगवत गीता में जो भी कहा गया है वो सब सच है तो मुझे एक बात बताइए भगवत गीता के नौवे अध्याय के आठवें श्लोक में क्यों ऐसा कहा है? कि पूरी सृष्टि का सर्जन मेरी इच्छा से हुआ और विनाश के लिए सिर्फ मैं ही जिम्मेदार हूँ oh, इन सारी बातों का मतलब एक ही होता है मिलो ये भगवान द्वारा किए हुए भूकंप से ही मेरी दुकान गिरी है जिन लोगों का नुकसान ऊपर वाले की वजह से हुआ है उन सब के पैसे भी ऊपर वाला ही देगा राइट बट हाउ डज गॉड कॉम्पेंसेट यू मिस्टर कांजी लीलाधर स्वामी को बातों में फंसा रहे सत्यसाई जी 
अगर ये प्रूव हो जाता है कि भगवान है तो हम लोग पैसा देने से बच जाएंगे अच्छा या पूरा दोष अब आप हम पर थोपना चाहते हैं अपनी स्कीम से बचने के लिए आप भगवान का नाम नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि भगवान पर सिर्फ हमारा कॉपीराइट है और तो ये भी सुनने को मिल रहा है कि भगवान के कॉपीराइट भी हो आज मुझे विश्वास हो गया है कि भगवान नहीं है क्यूँकी अगर वो होते तो उसने आप जैसे पाखंडियों को तो कब का उठा लिया मुझे जो करना था oh. वो मैंने साबित कर दिया है मिलो अब इसका पूरा फैसला so आप ठीक तो है ना मिस्टर जी आप ठीक है ना जी He's like, don't ruin what you. He's like, no, you don't get to speak anymore. आप लोग अंदर नहीं जा सकते. बोला ना मैंने आप लोग अंदर नहीं जा सकते. अरे लेकिन वो मेरे पास है. क्यों नहीं है? मिलना है. वो ठीक तो है. It is a severe attack of paralysis. Wow. And now he's gone into coma. Is he gonna see God there? I hope so. मैं कहाँ हूँ? तो मैं सी यू में चाहो तो मैं तुम्हें ठीक कर सकता हूँ <laughs> कहो तो एक चमत्कार दिखाऊं चलो भाई किचन विद द फेदर Do you believe in God now, or how are you going to rationalize this? Wow. Krishna oh. Vasudev oh. Yadav. You're finally seeing him. She. You're Chamatka. पहले क्यों नहीं दिखा मैं कृष्ण हूँ इसलिए चमत्कार करता हूँ चमत्कार करता हूँ इसलिए कृष्ण नहीं हूँ मतलब तुम हो और भगवान मेरा बाप नहीं मेरा दोस्त है एक महीने से तुम यहाँ आई में पड़े हो मैं तुम्हें बताता हूँ कि एक महीने के अंदर क्या क्या हुआ कंजी प्रभु कल रात मेरे सपने में आए थे चमत्कार की चार कहानियाँ मार्केट में रख दो लोग अपने आप चालीस बना लेंगे oh my gosh. ऐसे अचानक से प्रकट हुए कांजी भाव देव है धर्म गुरु ने कांजी भाई के कल की अवतार को मान्यता देकर उनसे माफी मांगते हुए एक्ट ऑफ गॉड के ऊपर जितने भी लोग हैं उनकी चार सौ करोड़ चुकाने का फैसला किया है उनकी इच्छा थी कि हमें पैसे देने चाहिए wow. किसने कहा कि वो भगवान है तुम्हें पता है तुम्हारी मृत्यु कब होगी आप लोगो को मैं भी नहीं जानता लेकिन उन्होंने स्वयं अपनी मृत्यु का दिन निश्चित किया है सोलह दिसंबर को वेंटिलेटर का स्विच बंद करते ही कांजी की कहानी खत्म स्वामी जी इस बार खर्चा बहुत हुआ है चार सौ करोड़ इंश्योरेंस वालों को बांटे एक करोड़ डॉक्टर को वन टाइम इन्वेस्टमेंट है मिश्रा जी आ? एक ही साल में रिकवरी पूरी हो जाएगी वाह महादेव महाराज तनिक ठहरी है तो कांजी भाई के बगल वाला पलंग खाली पड़ा है कहो तो लगवा दे उनके जन्मदिन के दिन ही वो अपना मंदिर से एक साल में साढ़े चार सौ करोड़ के बिजनेस का एस्टिमेट प्लान है लोगों का सर दे मेड एन एक्स्ट्रा फिफ्टी क्रोर तुमको रोकना चाहिए ना उनको मेरा काम है लोगों को सही और गलत की समझ देना ये मंदिर तुम्हारा है युद्ध तुम्हारा है तुम तय करो ये बैरो विधि का विधान देखो जहाँ कांजी का अध्याय शुरू हुआ था आज वही खत्म होने जा रहा है गॉड ऑन स्कूटर आई लव इट कांजी भाई की बॉडी अस्पताल से गायब है के प्रसाद के लड्डू से पच्चीस रुपया कांजी कहीं खुश हो गया ही हेयर ही कमन ब्रेक इट ऑल डाउन हाँ मैं जिंदा हूँ इंसान में भगवान दिखे तो भगवान मिलेगा ऐसे पत्थरों में नहीं मिलेगा ऐसे पत्थरों mm. में कभी नहीं बाय वाओ ऐसे दो को मारोगे तो दो सौ और पड़े इन लोगों की असली सजा यही है कि इनको याद से बाइक तक जाने अपनी महंगी yeah, महंगी गाड़ियों में बैठकर आश्रम में जाने दीजिए यस एग्जैक्टली और आज के बाद उनके आश्रम पे या उनके दर दरवाजे पे कोई भी कदम नहीं रखेगा वो होगी इनकी असली सजा जाइए 
They have no power if you don't buy into it. Mm-hmm. They are not God loving people. They are God fearing people. Hmm. He's not wrong. I don't think he's fully right. He's gone. I was wondering if his kids would ever get to meet him. Nope. It's just there for him. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow. Mm. That's so pretty though. Wow. Well, they certainly made their point very, very clear. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. In the beginning of this film, all right, I think they did a great job. Uh, Were you triggered? A hundred percent. But I think that's the point of it. Yeah. And I think it wouldn't have served its purpose if it didn't trigger me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I had to like, obviously like (laughs) hang in there because at first I was like frustrated because I'm like, okay, we have this atheist and we have all these people who are religious, but these people who are religious are just nasty and horrid people. And I'm like, okay, this is not how you behave. This isn't even right. There's like, you know what I'm like? I'm like, where are you going with this? You know, but at the same time when he would start to speak, I'm like, yeah, I get that too. Like, there's a lot of things that are man-made that revolve around religion. Well, he's pointing out the hypocrisy yes. in religion and he's doing it hard. But at the same time, I just like, for, for a good chunk, I was feeling like, man, this is just all so negative. I want to have hope, but you're just starting to irritate me and make me mad. Right. You know, because I am very religious. Then as it went on, I was like, okay. You see where I this see is going. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they did a really good job with it, but I think that they, you know, it was like, where are you going with this? You know, like you guys are very ballsy to do this, and I and I applaud you. Like, yeah, I do applaud you for it, and I liked the message, and I loved how they grabbed an atheist man. Yeah, to work through him to and at in that process, it was interesting because he's like defending the religion. You know what I mean? It's, and he didn't realize it. This is exactly. what I love. Yeah. I loved it so much because he didn't realize he was defending the religion. And he was like, it was almost like, dude, I think you're more in love with God than anybody right now because you're the only one stepping up, telling him, telling them, hey, you guys are getting used and abused. And like, yeah, and this, this isn't is what it's about. Yeah. And then in the process of fighting for something that like, you know, he thought, he really wanted he became an amazing like leader without even realizing what he was truly doing yeah and then at the end became a believer yeah no it was a really really great story i think that the message of the movie really resonates with how i feel about god about religion about faith and Mm -hmm. uh, like i said in the beginning like i was brought up with two different religions and Thankfully, both of my parents respected each other enough to just be like, it's fine. She can make her own choice or yeah. like both both can exist and both can be true. Yes. Like I equally, I will pray. Uh, I'll, I'll do the Lord's Prayer. When I go to church, I worship. But when I go to the temple, I worship there too. Mm-hmm. I had a religion teacher put it really well once where he was like, imagine there's like one destination. Yeah. But there are so many different roads Route, yeah. to get to that destination. And so you can choose whichever one makes the most sense to you. My mother has always said, you know, so long as the religion is teaching you to be a good person mm-hmm. and to do good things and put good out in the world, like what's the problem with yeah. whatever you believe in? And I, and I think, you know, much like at least my understanding of Hinduism is like, yeah, there is 
one God, but God has many different faces, many、yes. different avatars, and so He presents to us in different、well、ways. You know,、oh, I love so, what you just said. So it's like he, he comes to you in the way that makes the most sense to you. But、yeah. I think what we have to remember, which is what the movie shows, is that even with scripture or whatever, you could say it's like the word of God, and it's been interpreted by humans, and we've、yes. written it down. And when you like start holding the people in the religion. Almost like they are God, like they're re- re- they're representatives of God, right? But sometimes, like we're human, and so、yes. religion—you can't deny that religion throughout history has been used in negative ways in、uh-huh. order、yep. to control people and to start holy wars and do some really truly terrible things. It has done damage, but it's like. Like you said, we're only human, and、yeah. we were born imperfect. And so we take、um, we take that, and then we like twist it to to make it suit whatever agenda we, we want. And so I love the message, which is like, no, I'm everywhere. I am in the trees. I'm in the wind. I'm I'm everywhere. So like, you don't have to worship. In a specific like house of God, you can worship in your heart if that's what you feel. So long as your heart is pure and you're doing good things and putting good out in the world, yeah, then like I'm okay with that. And when you look out in the world at nature and everything, it's like how how beautiful is this? And like I I, I believe in a higher power that that created this because why not? And like even if you want to to go into science and and be all like you know. Uh, the world was created with, you know, the the Big Bang theory or whatever. It's、mm-hmm. like, yeah, but also, who are we to know that, like, what God's time frame is? And a, a day in our life is like but a millisecond in God's life. So、yeah. all of these things can be true. All of these things can exist in the same place. Like. Whatever. If you're not hurting anyone, I don't care what you believe. <laughs> you know. <laughs> See, I, I'm gonna throw this out there real quick because I think a lot of people do have a bad taste in their mouth when it pertains to religion. Yeah. And I feel like that's because we have people in these high up positions who are failing us. Yeah. Not only that, though, but the people a part of our 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 churches and our Communities are also failing us, and I say that because I feel like a lot of the times people use religion to damn you,、mm. and they use it to shame you. To- and a lot of the times they'll be like, "Oh my gosh, can you believe so and so did this?" You're burning hell. And they're hell. like, "They're like, oh my gosh," and they're Christian too, or "Oh my gosh," and they're Muslim too, and "Oh my god," you know. And they use your religion against you, no matter what religion you are. A lot of people use it to shame and damn and to Just destroy you, and they use this. Oh my gosh, shame on them! And it's almost like, oh, I'm a, I'm above everything, and I'm so, you know, oh, look how great we are. But at the end of the day, religion is not there to shame, and it's and I'm a strong believer in this. It's not there to shame you, it's not there to damn you. It gives you a place. Where you can repent, but you can go and be forgiven. It's a place of love. It's、yeah. a place of nurturing. It's the one place you can go when you have done something wrong, where you're supposed to have that love and that gentleness and that compassion that you need to thrive and to start over, so you can try again. You know what I mean, and it's not there for anything. It's that one place you can run to for sanctuary, where you can just be like, "I am so sorry." Like, how do I recover from this? Right. So you have that support and that love that surrounds you because we were made to be imperfect. And it's funny because somebody once told me, "You go to church? Like, I'm not going there." Like, because I, I was like, "Oh, if you want to come, you can come with me." They're like, oh, I'm not going there. I'm a sinner, and I'm a narcissist, and I'm this and that. I was like, well, great. There's a seat right next to me, man. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of us there. You know what I mean? I'm like, that means you belong. Like, and he looked at me. He starts laughing because I was like, no, I mean, like, that's what we are, though. Like, all of us, we're hypocrites. We're we are not. You know, we're sin. We're full. We're not sins. perfect. Yeah, no, we're full of sins. And I was like, well, you know what, bud? And there's a seat right next to you. It sounds like you're in the right place. You, you, it's your, it's the right place for you. And I'm like, because you're gonna be with a whole bunch of us. And he just died laughing so hard and looked at me. He goes, "What time are you going?" <laughs> and I was like, and I gave him time, and I was shocked. 
Did he come? He came. Wow. He came and he showed up and he loved it. And guess what? He's going to my church now. <laughs> but it was funny because I think like his mentality was, oh, I'm not, I'm so this night. He was like one of the most intense atheists I've ever met in my life. Right. And it was kind of funny because I just was like, oh, you can come if you want. Because he was like wanting to hang out. And then we had that conversation. And then later he was like, I never thought about it this way or that way before because I feel like, you know, they think when a lot of people, when they think of God as well, you know, like a lot of times they get mad at him and they're like, well, how can God be so mighty and how can he be so great? Or like, he how does can he all love there's, us? When there's, well, when there's all this evil exactly. in the world. Yeah. Oh, well, there's people that are getting, you know, killed and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, yeah. That's not, he did not create evil. He created all that is light, but he gave us that free will. Exactly. And he gave us that opportunity to choose what we want and where we want to go because he does, he's not somebody who forces himself on you. And he's not somebody who's like, hey, you have to love me. He's like, hey, the door's open. You just got to walk through it. And I don't want you, I don't want you to show up if it's fake. I don't want the fake love. It's almost like, if you give it to me, it's authentic and it's real. I only want the realness. Right. I don't need the fake. I don't need whatever. So you either walk through it and you get to know me or you don't. I'm not going to force myself on you. He does. He never forces it. Right. You know? So I don't know. I know that's kind of deep and like <laughs> kind of a lot to, to, to yeah. uh, take in. But I, I love this film. I think that it gives us a lot to ponder on and to really take in and to think about whether you're an atheist or you believe in a higher power. You know, no matter where you stand, this film makes you think. Yeah. Drastically. And I think it also just shows the hypocrisy within religion, which is really important to remember because while you can have faith, while you can be a religious person, while you can believe, there's no yeah. doubt that there are certain things that, you know, we do in the name of religion. That are, yeah, that, that are, are corrupt. Yeah, that are corrupt. Like, you know, giving but, giving tons of money so to secure your place in heaven or whatever. Like, they make really great points. It's like, okay, then, then give your money directly to, to help causes, help the poor. Yeah. Like, help someone within your community rather than just giving it to a church or whatever. And I see this with my mom as well you know like she'll go to a temple and she'll be like oh this one's really famous like it 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 helps people like all the rich people mm. go here look how rich they are like we need to give this much money so that we can buy a tile at the temple and all that and people like sometimes get lost of the true meaning of like because i like what he said when he said god is simple exactly and it's funny because we also we know there's stories that are true to religion. There's a lot of things in the world that literally show proof of things, right? Sure. When it pertains to God and like what's what has been or whatever. But I think that a lot of times we for also forget that a lot of the things are also man-made. Yeah. As well. So it's like you can't help but have no matter what, no matter what you're dealing with in life, whether it's God, whether it's like a business, whether whatever, there's always going to be the good and there's always going to be the bad. And there's because we're only human. You got to really like pay attention to that. And it's a give and take. But there are things that we do have to remember. Well, OK, well, you know what? We're only Human. Yeah, we're only we're human. only human, and so we're not we're not we're perfect. not perfect. No, we but we have. have free will, which yes. is important. So you can make the choices to, you know, change your life for the better, or mm -hmm. not. And I, I love as well how the movie kind of pointed out that sometimes people just want to be able to blame God to be yes. like, you know, oh, I didn't get to go on this trip or I didn't get this job because God decided. No, but it's like, okay, maybe, maybe so. But also you have the free will to like try and change that. That's the most yeah. amazing thing about being humans is that we're constantly able to make different choices every day and, and try and do better every day. So I think I will leave you with that. Wait, you wait, guys. One, oh, more, wait one, one more, one more, one more. more. I go got ahead, one go more. Ahead, go ahead. Because this part makes me kind of giggle. I love that he does not believe in God. And yet he's like, I'm going to sue all the religions. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when, it, when and, it, and it's so funny because he comes from a corrupt shop. Exactly. And he's that guy he's talking about. He's selling so all the he, false so idols. Like, so it's funny how he's he can speak truthfully to that due to the fact that he was one of those people. Yeah. 
And I love that he's like, I don't believe in God, but you know what? We're gonna, you threw God at me? Like, I'm gonna destroy him now. I'm so mad. Like, yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, he's pretty great. Like, kind of, yeah. I thought that, I think that that concept is just, I thought that was kind of great. And was yeah. Kind of hilarious. And that was it. Anyways. Yeah, this was a, this this was was a, fun. a very, very well, thought provoking movie. Yes. Um, you got something else? I was going to say it was fun, but then I was like, it was definitely a mind. Uh, it was an experience. Yes. Yes. <laughs> definitely. Because it it lost me. It tested you. It did. Oh, yo. <laughs> if you haven't seen this film, you, you like for some reason went to this talking portion of the video. It will definitely test your patience. Because at one point I was like. Yeah, it felt long. Ugh. For a two hour movie, not going to lie. It felt really long. It felt really long. And I wonder if there was a, a version of this, which was maybe like 90 minutes and we could have mm -hmm. cut down a bit more. But I think the message of it was really, really strong. And it's definitely challenging and thought provoking. And so I think yeah. if you're if you're a religious person or, or even if you're not, I think it's a worthwhile movie to watch and kind of get the gears going in your head and like questioning your faith and, and what you believe in. And I think that's important to do from time to time. Just be like, no, it is. Does this and still make you, sense? When you're dealing with religion, you should always, you should always question things. Just like in everything you do in life, you should, you should question things and learn about it and become yeah. stronger in whatever it is you're being a part of. For Absolutely. Your own, for your own sanity and your own knowledge, you know? I yeah. think that's, that's very very important all right don't, guys don't just follow don't just follow so that's it thank you for joining us on this journey let us know your thoughts hopefully we haven't triggered you too much um don't hate yeah Be excuse nice. my face expressions of this <laughs> you're like i'm so triggered no because i was like this and i'm like because okay the screen's down you guys so my eyes are going like this right and at one point i was like <laughs> and i think i was like making this face a lot throughout the film so Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I was frustrated. And then I was like, oh, and then at the end, I'm like, it was a I journey. I see you. I see you. It was a journey for I, you. I, I, I felt it. I was like, I know oh, you God. feel my energy. I did. Totally I felt your energy. I was like, Kristen, trust the process. Kristen. I know. I didn't want to. I wasn't trusting. Trust it. I was struggling at this one. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Kristen Stephen Zampino. Ciao.